Hello friends, Marcy here, and I want to share with you um, the new Hobonichi Techo English edition on the A5 for 2023 and on the Weeks English edition. I can't really read that there. There we go. Um, the English edition in these two sizes is new for 2023, um, not for the A6 size. The Hobonichi Techo planner has um, come in the English version for a very long time. Actually, not to be confused with, hold on, um, the A6 Hobonichi Techo original. So that one is still the Japanese version, even in 2023, um, which I do not have one to share with you, but um, I did have the English version for 2022. Um, and A6 was the only size that came in until 2023, and I'm so excited to have A5, Cousin, and The Weeks um, available in the English version. It is not, however, available in the um, Cousin Effect, which is the split book. This is still only in the Japanese version, which we're not going to look at that today. Um, I use that for a teacher planner, but we are going to look at the English edition on the A5 and the weeks. And with a quick um, backup comparison, this is my current um, A5, and this is a spring start. It started in April, and I kind of moved into it. The reason I purchased it was because I wanted this cover, and so I got the planner with the cover. Um, but I started the year in, let me back up, uh, Wonderland 222 because I was trying to get away from the printed Japanese holidays that the Hobonichi puts in their planners. They color code um, holidays red. And so I um, tried out the Wonderland 222 for it lasted for the first few months of um, 2022. And then when I got this one, I just jumped back into it because I liked the paper better. Now, um, I do have a sticker kit on the front calendar for 2022. This is from DEK Designs. And this is the first time I've ever purchased a sticker kit to cover that up. Um, it's just something I tried because in my previous year, 2021, um, this is what it looks like without a sticker kit. And it does have, even though the um, days of the week are marked with Japanese characters, it had the number of the month, which was easy to read. And of course you could figure out the Monday to Sunday um, start. But if you notice, the red uh, numbers are noted for Japanese holidays, which really have nothing to do with holidays that I would mark. So just having those holidays noted, um, was kind of a distraction, but you could see that I didn't really use this uh, front calendar too much. And I didn't use these pages in the A5, only in the weeks that you'll see. Um, but again, the red, the gray and red are the weekends, Saturday and Sunday, but the extra red um, are Japanese holidays noted. And so it's nothing to do with what I would need to mark. Um, let's see. So spring starts, if you don't know, they are April starts, but they kind of back up and they give you a head start starting in February. And here's an example of Japanese holidays noted in the middle of the week. Um, nothing there for March. And then this is in the middle of the week, they've marked them red, which I, I like to color code things. And so I did not really enjoy having theirs listed, um, the red. On the week, weekends, the gray and the red, that doesn't bother me so much. Um, but I did not care for it in the middle of my spreads. See, this um, spring start in the 2022, again, started in February. And then I just started using sticker kits in hopes that I could cover some of that up. Um, Let's see, so we move into somewhere. I started covering them up with different colored headers. Um, it's 
October, November, and December. And I just enjoy using the pen. I'm, the sticker kits were a bit much and I kind of got out of it and went back to what I used to do. Um, but let's look at, even on the weeks, the weekly spread, if it was a holiday for um, Japan, they would put a red uh, header at the top. Let's see. Nothing on that week. This is April was the beginning of it. So as I got into my weekly spreads, um, see there's nothing red there to mark, which is good. But I would use my weekly spreads and then um, I, this was a holiday week, so I decorated with sticker kit. But this is just me using my weekly spreads um, when I wasn't working. And then I had to go back to work and start highlighting my days as they go like that. Um, just work hours. And then this was the most recent. Um, I got sick and did not attend too much, but then there's a little uh, holiday decoration for me. And then into the last week of the year. Um, in my daily spreads, I like to use uh, for journaling. Um, also, with photos of special events and grandkids. So that's how I like to use my daily pages. Um, just for doodles and journals. Anyway, I, I um, enjoyed the Hobonichi A5 Cousin. And I was so excited when they said they were bringing... For 2023 the English edition and I already knew I loved the English edition oh, let's talk about that. I already knew I loved the English edition um, in the a6 so I was so excited to see this um, you can start purchasing new planners at the Hobonichi website in September and I ordered mine actually in September I ordered mine from jetpens.com I just had to wait get on the list and wait for uh, their stock to arrive. But here is the English version page on the A5. No red holidays, only the Sunday is marked. It's just a cleaner spread that I like much better. And only the weekends marked here as well. So here is the English version. The, um, the yearly starts in December. You have a December start, which I already have December in my other book, so this one is blank. And I will move into January, and we'll move into the January spread. So just wanna flip through and show you the only thing that's colored is the weekends, and I like that so much better. Um, show you this goes through. Okay, this goes through March of 2024. So, then our weeks start. Anyway, I love, love, love the English version on this. Even the quotes at the bottom here are in English, but in the older books, the quotes on the bottom are in Japanese. So, I would just... Um, See, cover them with washi or just write over them uh, to uh, just cover it up because it's not anything I use. It was just space that I could use for decoration. Anyway, loving the um, A5 English version and cannot wait to get into that. Um, also, let me back up. Was this one the one that was decorated? No. This one... I decorated with uh, cutouts from uh, the pamphlet that come with and it used to be very large it was like 18 by 24 I think I don't know I just cut out some cute pictures and decorated um, so the new little pamphlet that comes with 2023 is much smaller that's cute is much smaller but it just kind of talks about Oh, and also this is in English. I think I have an older one tucked away that I could pull out and show you for comparison's sake. I had so many. 
Let me try. Yes, so here's one from 2021. And there's some of the pictures, but the pamphlet is very large, it's unfolded. Um, and all the writing is, well, most of the writing is in Japanese, so see, it's quite large. And I just cut out, I scan across and down. I just cut out some of the cute pictures that I wanted to keep and just glued them right into my little journal planner. So there's the difference in size for the 2023. And also they sent um, a little test booklet that says new, test the new Tomoe River paper coming to the 2024 edition. If you're not aware, um, Sanson has purchased the Tomoe River um, paper company. And so we don't know how much of a change it will be. It says papers changing for the original, the cousin, planner, the day free, and the five year techo. So this is a chance for you to compare um, just writing with your fountain pen on that to test against the current paper. And they do have the red holidays on there because it's not English version. So anyway, I'll do that later. Um, let me show you real quick the new English version on weeks. And this is the 2022. I did cover that with um, sticker kit labels, headers from Mandy Lynn Plans. And the 2021, I did not so this is what the old one looked like I don't really use it too much um, I did circle some birthdays and then on the side I just wrote a little number to add a column for numbering the weeks of the year and that was my little attempt at that but the new one the new English edition for 2023 Lost my little pamphlet, so I get so many. Um, and this is just the regular, not the mega that I had last year. So here's the clean English version look of the calendar compared to, yeah, I like it much better. So let's look at a month. And this is January, 2023. Of course, this one was a spring start. This, it was an April start, but also um, it started ahead in March. And so here's an example of, there's one colored um, holiday, two colored holiday, no, one colored holiday, I'm sorry. That was my washi tape. Um, on the Japanese version, and then in May they had the three days here, but these are all clean and I really like that so much better. So when I put a color on a day, I highlight it um, to have meaning for what I want to highlight and not something that has nothing to do with our calendar or our US holidays. So I love it much better. And then currently, oops, that's weeks. So I started using the sticker kits um, in this one as well because I was just covering up those colored headers. And it's very beautiful. But I'm pleased to have the English version that I can just highlight um, as needed and enjoy. So, thank you for spending some of your precious moments with me. If you have any questions about the planners, you can leave them in the comments below. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day.